right, so we're sitting here uh, just crossing from Prairie du Chien over into Iowa to go a little more north to get to Yellow River State Forest. And there's some road construction here on the bridge. We can show you that. We are backed up and have been sitting here for about 10 minutes so far. So hopefully this doesn't delay our trip too awful much. talk a little bit about our uh, adventure getting into the campsite today? Yeah, it was a little bit of an adventure. We kind of figured there wouldn't be anybody, well, not anybody here, but there'd be a lot of campsites open, but that was not the case. We got the very last one. Yeah, I checked on Monday or Tuesday and there was maybe four or five reservations in the entire Little Pink campground and came in here today and we drove through the entire place and we had to come back to the one site that was available. It's kind of a double site, but we seem to have really nice neighbors and uh, we got set up right away and uh, we made somebody unhappy because they pulled up about 30 seconds after us and they were looking at this site. So <laughs> the adventures of, of camping. Looks like this year is gonna be a little different. All right, so night number one at Yellow River State Forest. We're uh, beginning supper. This is a rather unusual supper for us. We don't usually quite get this carried away, but. You can see here we have some beef tenderloin and some asparagus and potatoes and onions and we're going to try them all on the blackstone griddle so what do you think i'm excited it looks really good the sun is starting to go down and uh, we're getting some shade so it's getting a little nicer <music> all Greg's hard work. I didn't do a thing. Tenderloin, asparagus, and what do you have with that? A hard boiled egg. <laughs> I just thought it sounded good. <laughs> do you normally get this kind of meal camping? No, no. Usually it's brats or hot dogs or burgers, but yeah, steak and asparagus. It's We're living high tonight. Well, you notice somebody has her hiking hat on. I got a brand new hiking hat. Never been a hat girl, but I thought, well, maybe I'll try the hat thing. Heading back to our campsite for the night. Probably might get in the truck and drive up, see if we can get a cell phone signal, because we like zero cell phone reception in Yellow River State Forest. Check in with the kids, make sure the house is still, you know, upright and all that kind of fun stuff. Then settle in for a nice little campfire. Jesus, oh my God, Bella, you're just all a little clump there. Good morning, first morning at Yellow River State Forest. Uh, having some nice bacon and eggs on uh, the griddle this morning and getting ready to go hiking. We'll have to uh, find a trail map. The ones we found yesterday at the uh, kiosk said hiking on them, but didn't actually have any maps on them. So um, we're either going by our phones and a downloaded map from Google Maps or uh, gonna wing it. So stay tuned. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side our fears are done All the good times just begun Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight So we're hiking on the big paint loop that should take us to a nice overlook We had our choice to hike on the gravel road back there but uh, we decided to stay to the trails they're a lot more fun. These are really nice here. Looks like they mow them out. 
So this is a hiking trail, but it's as wide as a vehicle. Oh, we don't need no more. Oh, even in the hard times. So what do you think of the hike so far? It's been good. Yeah, the weather's nice. It's not sunny, but at least it's cooler. I'm still working up a little bit of a sweat though. <laughs> Pretty view out over big paint campground right behind us. Got about an hour on trail so far and we'll see how far we uh, we end up going. What we can do. Ah! Okay. Okay. okay, got it. Now, you, you okay? Uh huh. Are you? Okay. That's a huge jump. Come on. Oh, come on. Ready? I did it. Next one. Always makes me really nervous. <laughs> Just slip into the creek. All right, so we've made it into the equestrian campground. Here you can see some horses ready to go on trail and all their gear and equipment. Right outside the equestrian campground, there's this wall of rock. It's kind of cool to see all the formations. You know, if you see how eroded out that is, I mean, that means. Water was up that high at one point for a long time, wearing that away. Well, we almost made it back. Campsite's right ahead. How far did we go? Oh, let me look. 5.19 miles. So, almost like five and a quarter miles. I wonder if there's any cold beer in there. I guess we'll find out. Here's our, here's our visitors that we have from the next door campsite. You know, it's not too bad when you can go and get uh, camp and have visiting chocolate labs, you know, come say hi every time. <laughs> the sun is about blinding and it is just pouring rain. I suppose that's a cloud right over top of our camper or what? I said I had to get my sunglasses for a rainstorm because it's really bright. The sun's just whoo, coming in on me. Well, good morning. It's Sunday morning. Uh, we are just getting ready to uh, head out for the day and uh, head home. Really enjoyed uh, Yellow River State Forest and uh, really a couple pointers though I wanted to, to mention about the uh, about the, the campground here. Number one, you, it's basically zero cell phone reception down here in this in this valley. So uh, you know you do have to drive up to the top of the hill, which isn't very far. Um, to get a connection once in a while and uh, the second is there's no water or dump stations so uh, you know, as we have our, our little unit here um, we're gonna have to uh, find a dump station on the way home but really enjoy the area the beautiful trout streams that run right through here and uh, it's been a lot of fun I'll catch you on the next video